the square knot used to attach two pieces of rope together you're gonna take the right one and go under and go around creating this and then you're gonna go take the right one again and go over the left one and you should arrive at this this will not let go no there's a brother to this if you do this incorrectly this is what happens under and instead of going over I go under again the result is not the same the problem with this is that if I pull the two ends of the rope it will slip okay dangerous so the opposite of that is to take the rope on the right put it under flip okay and then put it over under and over arriving at something that looks like this and then if I were to drop this and pull on the ends this is really secure now let's take a look at attaching two different diameter ropes to each other now the problem with this situation is that if you normally try to do this and you do this wrong one of the ropes will slip and it will no longer be attached the proper way to do this is to take the thicker rope and do what's called a sheet bend you take the thicker rope you fold it in half like so you grab it here you take the thinner rope you come up through the loop okay from underneath you take it around this way and then you pass it through underneath this part right here okay this is what's called a sheet bend this is not likely to slip on you once it's tightened up two different diameter ropes attached the proper way and you can double up this knot if you feel like it but this is just strong enough so let's go through that again the sheet bend I'm going to take the thicker rope fold it in half come up with the loop I'm going to take the thinner rope come through the loop and wrap it around and then pretty much come take this part of the rope raise it up and take the end of the rope and come up underneath it creating that and as you tighten this together pull it all together these two become inseparable so even if I let go of this end this will not go anywhere now normally if you are attaching two different diameter ropes to each other they tend to slip this prevents that the sheet bend and the taut line used for creating tension on a line attached to an object like a tarp a tent if you need to make minor adjustments without taking everything apart you want something that slips but also secures in place once you're done with it this is the thing to play with so this is what we do we take the end of the rope we put it under like so we pass it through our loop once we pass it through our loop again until we come out at the end this is what we should have then we keep on going the same way around from behind to come through the loop we just created at the end like so you tighten all that up and we should have is something that looks like this what this does is that it's adjustable up and down but when you pull on it at the end it won't slip so you can adjust it and make the loop or the rope in the loop a lot shorter and then when you pull on it at the end it secures in place the taut line hitch up and down easily opened up but when you pull on it it's secured awesome knot trucker's hitch line goes to the boat the bottom line we need to tie around the tree to make sure that the boat stays put we create a loop on the line we take the line that's supposed to go to the boat or sorry to the tree wrap it around the tree in this case tripod 
come back, go through the loop that we just created, and tighten. This creates a pulley system, which in increases your strength double. Um, to secure this in place, I'm just going to get it off to the side so you can see this better. To secure this in place, you'll double on this line and just do a double, a uh, half hitch right there. And that secures it in place. Okay, so now your tensioned line, hypothetically speaking, tensioned line with a lot of tension is secured in place. In order to release it, you just pull on this end here, and the whole thing is ready to come apart again. The double figure eight loop. Um, the best thing I can think of is creating a loop that is non slip, it won't close up or it won't open up for you. Um, where would I use this? Any outdoor emergency situation, uh, let's say you have to put a line around somebody and you don't want that loop to close, this is the one to use. It will definitely not slip and it creates a fixed loop in place, which works just great. So, what you would do is you would put the line together like so. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go around my fingers, onto the left, around again, and then take the first loop and pass that through. And use your figure eight. This loop will not slip. It will stay exactly the same as it is right now. And that's what the double figure eight should look like. Um, I may have to adjust it to make it look a little prettier, but get the picture. That's what it looks like. And this loop does not open or does not close. It stays put. Let's go through that again. You take your end of the rope, put it together, grab it where the two meet. I'm going to take the other end. Okay, so I just have them right here. Sorry, I'm going to wait till you can see this better. I'm going to go around my fingers, onto the left, back around, and then I'm going to put this end through that first loop, which is here. This is the second loop, this is the first loop. I'm going to go through that first loop. Okay, pull my fingers out and pull it through. Bang, there's your figure eight. Once again, this will not slip perfect for emergency situations. If you have to put this around somebody's shoulders and you obviously don't want this to close up and choke them, this is the way to do it.